You are kidding me. They're going to be in seat backs today? That is great news. Which in the new economy wasn't as unusual a phenomenon as you might Don't think. Don't go through my stuff, Granddad. Hey, who do you think paid for your stuff? Excuse me, sorry. Do you know where George Michael is? Um, he's in the computer lab. Wait. There's a, There's computer, a computer lab? lab? <laughs> I'm putting up a wall. We need to rework our whole system here. Sounds like you guys are working on your privacy software, huh? Hey, how'd you find me? Uh, Trang's grandfather. Boy, shoot me if I'm 86 living in my grandson's dorm, huh? Pal, <laughs> good news. The article that they did on me in Altitude magazine comes out today. You're an attitude? That magazine is gay. Oh, he wasn't being flip with the word gay. Attitude is a British magazine for homosexuals. Altitude. It is Out West Airlines in-flight magazine. Can I see it? Probably doesn't have it. Try finding a flight at this time of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Never even been on a plane, you piece of So, can I see it? It is, it is not in the terrestrial newsstands just yet. Guess what, though? You, my friend, are in the article. I'm in it. You're in it. You're in it. I mentioned you. I mentioned that I'm living in your dorm. I thought that it might help with your popularity problem. Well, I'm going to get going while okay. the room is empty. Great. So. See you later. Okay. Boy. That's gotta drive you crazy, right? The whole reason you had to come to the computer lab is for privacy. It's no wonder you can't get a real girl up there. Michael was referring to something he'd walked in on a few days earlier. There's a girl in there. There is? Where the hell is George Michael? Excuse me, hello. Oh. Dad, hi. Yeah, there's nobody here. Buddy, bad news. P-Hound is yanking our chain again. Uncle Michael. Oh my god. <laughs> hello there. There is a kind of girl yeah. here. <laughs> Didn't say it was your cousin. Hey. Well, he doesn't know. <laughs> now that's smart. Let him think there's a girl in here. Uh, actually, we've been talking about how crowded that room is, and uh, Peahound was suggesting that maybe we maybe we do a vote to see who stays in the dorm room. He suggested that? Are you serious? Well, the thing is that the room is only sanctioned for two. Right, and we have a vote. He's gone in two seconds. Ah, uh, two against one, right? Well, actually, we gotta do it. Well, the thing is that it's, it kind of puts me in an awkward position. Right. Hey, because since there's only three people voting, everyone's gonna know who voted against who. Well, what, what about if your girlfriend wants to move in? That way she gets a vote. <laughs> I'm just here for two. She's not my girlfriend. Huh? She's well, my cousin. I mean, I'm not attracted to her. Well, why is that even an issue? Beyond doesn't know any of that stuff. Okay? He'll just think that her vote's the vote that got him out. Well, wouldn't my girlfriend want to get rid of my father? I'm not your girlfriend. Not your girlfriend. Yeah, but he doesn't know that. No, well, someone's got to vote for me, that's right. Otherwise, it's suspicious. We don't want a palace coup, right? Well, I'll vote you. Yeah, I will. Happy to do it. I wouldn't make you do that, you know. Then I fall down a flight of stairs, I crack my head open, you feel bad about yourself your whole life. And perhaps it was the chair that fooled Michael into thinking his next idea was a good one. What if I vote myself out? You'd do that. How would that help? It's simple algebra. You two vote against Peahow, nobody knows who did what, because there's a vote against me in there, and it's adios, brother arrow. It cannot fail. Michael was pleased with his plan. 